No, they won't. Oh boy, that 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 sucks. That hurt. That hurt a bit. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Star Wars Squadrons. I'm fully able, full and able to to fly the Y wing. Is that how you say it? I don't. I don't think that's how you say it. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. That is true, and I'm willing and able. It's, that, that's why you say I got it now. All right. Anyway, let's use it and explode stuff. I'm actually very interested to see how these things work. Because it's just supposed to be bombers, right? So they, they are very weak against everything, but you know, capital ships. They're weak, but they pack a punch. She only cares about finding our Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure. Still, you better bomb this listing post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Oh. This is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. No, oh, let's follow the Corvette. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing, the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. There's, there's just one word, or like a few words that says, You don't deserve the post. Or join the rebellion. Or come get us. You think the Empire built this listening post just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. Yeah, that's probably true. Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. No, they won't. Oh boy, that 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 that, that, that sucks. That hurt. That hurt a bit. Wait, I can't heal. Oh crap. Just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, five. We'll lead the bombing run. Can you help me? I'm already kind of hurt. When? Where? Now? How, how do I fire the bombs? Press <laughs> right button to drop a bomb. Yeah. Oh, I dropped them below. What? It's a raid. Alert type patrols. Nicely done. You're a natural five. Now to bombard the rest of the receivers. Out of ammo. Can you guys give me like stuff, to, please? Oh, I need to destroy the actual discs themselves. What else is there? Oh, this one. Can someone give me ammo? <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Oh, they did, huh? Well, at least you have ammo. That one wait there's still some of it alive but how is it still standing the heck didn't i destroy it i already did take everything out didn't i oh this one Give me. Okay, come on your way with a resupply. Nice work. Gibbs won't be calling any reinforcements to All right. Cool. Nice bombing. You sure about that? It didn't really do anything. Take this one out. Hey guys, please give me uh, healing. That would be great. Well, not healing, but like stuff, ammo. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, you already gave me ammo. Okay, good. That's good. Thank you for that. You really let him have it. Receivers are done for. Indeed, indeed. I'm in formation. Regroup with me at the edge of the listening post. We couldn't just go for them directly after we had to form up first. Hey. Looking. The thermal systems are located in the trench circling the edge of the station. Fly into the trench. Give them hell. Oh crap! Really? Uh, to roll the terminal and below you to drop your bombs. Uh, bombs are fired down from the starfighter, so you must orient yourself over the target. Thank you. Yeah, is that bad? Uh, if that's bad, then yes. Okay. Go back around again. Yeah, but can you like give me ammo? Thank you. Here I 
Okay, I need a little more. The Corvette? What do you want me to do about it? Defended how? Oh. Yeah, seems like it, doesn't it? I got you. There's nothing I can do for the Corvette right now. How about you don't shoot my shields? From what? Oh, okay. Ties? Oh. I'm doing my best. Not easy when it's just kind of sitting there letting himself take damage. Hope not. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Please heal. Thank you. Miss one back here. That's a hit. Back up. The Empire just opened a massive vent on the listening post. The thermal systems must be overloading. They're trying to cool down the core. Regroup at the vent. I got an idea. What idea? Why do you want me to recruit outside when I can easily go in? Oh, awful. Good thing I maxed out the seals. Red power to engines? Uh, yeah, I need ammo. Trying. I heard that from all the way out here. Get moving, five. Quick, I am. Go, go, go. Actually, hit the doors there. Pretty well. Great work, Vanguard Squadron. Our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step.
It wasn't efficient though. All right, what's up? All I'm saying is, instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials, <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm going to pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I'd trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I guess this'll do. Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we can't argue with that? Still wish there was more customization. Like the game is simple enough for you to have, like, have maybe stickers you can put on your ship or something like that. Maybe customize your flight gear. But sadly, you can't do that. First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, We'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer. And hopefully... Capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. All right, we shall. I, I, I shall. We all shall. If Linden's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. The sooner the better, if you ask me. Linden's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. Yeah. I can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander is a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we could push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien. A bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. And Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? Okie dokie. Need Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. Come on, dude. It'd be nice. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hmm, I'm better than him. How did he get onto the squad? 
All this staring at me, it's creepy. I don't like it. Let's go out of here. No, oh, you want to talk, people? So, the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? Yeah, I hope we can I'm see the look of it on her face when it happens. Tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. And one for the ages. Can I can I aim it her? Yes, there we go. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Jade must have complete faith in its builders. And in us, of course. We'll be the ones making this ruins work, after all. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. It's incredible. The Magnite crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing Magnite Crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? Indeed we shall. It's going to be awesome to see what's going to happen. No one else wants to talk to me? Well, then this is where I end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see more from me, such for 8,000, hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.